Hello there, and welcome to this, the first of approximately 14 or 15 videos that I'm going to make manufacturing this, I suppose, bench top CNC router. The operational footprint of this is going to be about 3 feet by 3 feet, which is about 900 by 900 millimetres thereabouts. Now this video for this weekend, I thought I would have had this along a little bit further than what it is. Because uh, at the moment it's just, the parts are cut for the Y axis and the bottom part of the gantry and it's really just clamped together. Um, but, you know, there's enough of you guys out there that, uh, you know, really want to see stage by stage of the build of this. Um, and due to bad weather, in this part of Australia, um, I just haven't been able to uh, to get into this. I've been too busy <laughs> digging out trenches because we've uh, we've had an unusual amount of rain. Uh, I think over the past uh, three weeks we've had about three feet, um, and we've had a lot of flooding problems. So I just haven't been able to get this to a uh, you know a finished uh, section that I would have hoped to for this weekend or this video so uh, Wednesday I managed to film this um, sort of cutting these parts out and laying it up so uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, I think during next week I'll be able to uh, get all the drilling done for this and get this up um, and screw it all together properly and probably move to uh, start making the gantry so um, please like and subscribe uh, this is going to be a, a shorter video than, than normal so uh, I hope you understand that and please consider becoming a patron because it's the patron behind this channel that you know that drives it and uh, keeps it going, uh, enables me to do things like this. So, uh, thank you for watching, and um, I probably won't see you at the end of this video, so I'll say bye for now for the end of the video. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Hello there, and welcome to my workshop. And this video marks the the start of the new AMAX CNC rotor build. Um, I've been waiting for a few days actually for the last parts to come in and this morning they came in. If I can pick this up. This is a big beautiful item. Uh, it's a bit glary I think. But you can probably make it out there. It's a big spindle, big rotor spindle. Um, I've been waiting for this for about uh, six weeks actually. Uh, it finally arrived. It was a, a kit uh, with the VFD and uh, pump and you know everything, even uh, a dozen uh, collets. Uh, it's an ER20 collet arrangement. And of course the big cast aluminium hub. I'll just grab it actually. Here it is. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well machined. Well cast. No air holes in it. No nothing. Um, I'm, I'm exceptionally pleased with the spindle. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and it's worth paying the, the extra few bucks to get a, a decent unit. Okay, so what I like to do, I'm a very visual person. Sounds good, doesn't it, being a YouTuber? So I'm a visual person, um, and I'm making my own plan up for this. So I like to lay things out. To see, you know, sort of how, what sort of dimensions it are going to be, what sort of clearances am I going to have um, before I even start.
cut in the material uh, because you know these days I can't tell you in the last 12 months aluminium prices prices have got shot up 200 percent uh, and steel is a fair behind it uh, so I need to be you know tw twice as sure as what I normally am you know where I'm going to cut it and the least amount of wastage as possible um, so that's what I've been doing this morning and this is laid out this is the y-axis is actual size give it take a few millimeters um, in relation to the the screw now I'm actually going to make the screw backwards so this is the the dual bearing here uh, combined with a thrust uh, bearing so that stops it go back going back and forth when you you know rot when the stepper motor ro rotates um, so this end's going to be sort of I'm going to have the, the bearing external of on, on, on the other side of the mounting front plate um, and the other end is not going to have a support bearing uh, but it's going to be connected directly onto the high output NEMA 23 stepper motor um, it doesn't actually need to be supported and I'm going to use the same arrangement in the the X so uh, okay my next job is to measure that aluminium out mark it and cut it
so I've cut my all my parts now for the y-axis and also the, the the uprights for the gantry so that will give you some idea of the size of this rotor it's not a, a small rotor by no stretch of the imagination but so this is the general layout of course I haven't cleaned up any of the cuts yet and um, that's looking pretty impressive and just about what I was expecting Oops, if I can pick this up with one hand and of course this fits out on the very edge of here something like that so that's the upright for the the gantry um, what I'm going to do is through here to, to mount the gantry uh, it's 25 millimeter thick um, cast aluminium that I'm actually going to make the gantry cross piece out of okay that's a little bit better now you can get a little bit of um, I suppose sense of the scale now of this little CNC router well not so little um, having the uprights for the gantry just clamped on there as well so you can uh, you can get a better visualization now um, fairly simple design um, and, and what I'm actually trying to do is design this so anybody can make this with you know the simplest of workshop tools now, workshop tools that you would normally have in a, a wood shop you know um, not milling machines and lathes and all that sort of thing just a simple um, pillar drill and uh, or hand drill uh, saw so anybody can make this as long as you can drill a fairly accurate hole uh, you're gonna you you know you're gonna be really fine so okay talking about drilling holes that is the next stage is to uh, now I'm happy with the layout is to start marking out and drilling and tapping.